Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure. And this is my perspective. So we have a video of a 19-year-old uh, boy who confronts his mother about the paternity of his father. Apparently, give from what we know of this, this, um, this uh, video, is that she has led him to believe that a certain person was his father his whole life. And he felt suspicious about that for years and decided that, you know, since he's 18 and over, he doesn't need her permission. And he decided to do a DNA test with the man that he um, thought maybe might actually be his dad. And turns out that this other person is his father. And then he confronts her with the DNA results. And this is what happens. So you were behind my back. Yeah, I'm grown. I'm old enough now. I feel like I got the right to do that. So I just wanted to do a test and see what is my daddy. And so you called him? Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought I was his son. <laughs> so that means that I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. He, nah but but see, told I told you that was your dad. I, 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 I first of all, first of all, that is your dad. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with and what you had going on. But that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good, but look, I'm just. It sounds good. Nah, that's the result. The result. Say what it say. Now, nah. I, hey, I can't lie. I can't fake no results. Now, if you had something going on, then. The man that was my daddy. First of all, you didn't have nothing going behind my back. That's what you didn't have nothing to doing. Yeah, yeah, but I just felt like I ain't had no bond with him like that. Like, I knew something was off. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to go get my results and, and see what's going on. Let me tell you something. It's okay. You know, I'm I'm old enough. I understand. Now, if he ain't, if, if my real daddy ain't want to take care of me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it See, was... some things are better left unsaid. Oh, okay. You should just left it like it was. I ain't tell you. I told you that was your daddy. You should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. You and it's no sense trying to go behind my back and figure it out. You too old now. So you were behind my back. So here we have the crux of so many issues in the black household. This right here illustrates undeniably where the root of so much family trauma, drama, lack of accountability, people not knowing who's doing what secrets. We just talked about this. I, I, it might've been last year, the year before last, when we talked about Kirk Franklin and his situation with never really knowing who his real father was. And then finally, uh, coming up around to the man who actually is his father and confronting his mother about basically how she lied to him his whole life about who uh, that another man was his dad had him disliking that man trying struggling to forgive that man on that man that man died and all of that drama for nothing because that man wasn't even Kirk Franklin's dad, which really resulted in at least two to three generations of brokenness between fathers and sons. Because, because Kirk didn't have his father and, and was being consistently lied to by his mother to hide whatever other secret she had going on. Aside from the fact that she was with that man, for whatever reason, she was ashamed to say that she was with that man. And that resulted in Kirk Franklin having a very strained relationship with his son because they had, you know, a, a couple of years back, you know, some things that came out over social media and, you know, the audio of Kirk Franklin, like 
and him getting into it, cussing each other out or whatever. And, you know, that whole thing blew up. And so eventually Kirk made like a, a documentary or, a, you know, a biographical kind of documentary about that particular trauma in his family. And eventually he finds out who his real father is. And then he's able, Kirk Franklin was able to try to mend his relationship with his son and heal three different generations of broken father-son bonds. All because, all because Kirk Franklin's mother did just what this lady is doing by lying, flat out lying to her son about who his father actually is, trying to make him accept that, trying to make everybody accept the lie. And the problem is everybody be letting black women get away with such lies. They let them get away with it and they let them keep these damaging secrets. They let them keep these horrific secrets that eventually find their way to light anyway in much more dramatic fashion than they would have been back in back when the the secret didn't have to be kept or back when the situation was fresh and all of this accountability is dodged because they don't be wanting to admit that they was with a certain guy either because that guy was the, they was cheating on their husband with that guy or that guy was supposed to be a man that was off limits to them and and he wasn't you know, it might have been a sister's man or, you know, some other man that she shouldn't have had a relationship with, but did anyway. And now all of a sudden, because her shame and her name and her, you know, what people are going to think about her is too much for her to bear, you know, God forbid, oh, poor her, too much to bear for people to know, you know what I'm saying, that you busted open for this particular guy. And so now there is 20 years worth of cover up all because these chicks be busting it open for men and then don't want the world to know or their families to know because it's going to shame them or they're going to lose something or their husbands are going to find out. Like I said, maybe this was a cheating situation. We don't know the exact situation or exactly why the the truth was not acceptable and so she proceeds to spend 20 years in a lie living a lie she's living a lie she made her son live a lie she made the man that she pinned her son on live a lie and the man that was actually his father also live a lie so this is at least four people living lies not to mention the other people who may suspect it may have known it or in, in, in any other ways of like looking at that whole situation kind of with a side eye, even if they didn't have proof of it, it's like, mm, that don't, it's something about that that's not right, you know? And a lot of times the family lets, lets mama get away with this stuff. They let mama get away with it. Mama can get away with this for whatever reason, and everybody's got to keep it hushed because they don't want to upset her. Forget upsetting her. And nobody care about her being upset. Everybody else is upset. Who cares about whether or not she's upset? And then she's going to be mad. Now she's sitting here acting like her son did something to her. Now that her secret's out. And he had to be like, okay, well, it's all right. Because I understand. Because what she failed to realize is that boy don't care about what the the unscrupulous situation was 20 years ago that led to you busting open and letting uh, the other guy clap your cheeks to get him. That's not that's not the here nor there for him. The the fact of the matter is you lied about that. And this this boy had to go with his gut intuition and his feeling of thinking that the man that you foisted upon him to be his father is not actually his biological father and that guy might have been a good guy. We don't know who that guy is. Nobody's saying that that guy's a bad guy. He's just, he's just not the person that she said he was. 
And apparently the father is a person that's always around. Anyways, for this young boy to not have to necessarily search for him, but to kind of know where to go and 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 who he needed to talk to, 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 to be like, you know what? I actually think you might be my dad. And from what he said, the, the guy thought so too. Like, you know what? I might be. I might be your dad. Let's go get a DNA test. And let's clear it up. Let's clear the air from here going forward. The DNS, the DNA test cleared the air. And now her son is coming back as a young man to say, hey, mom, we know we, the jig is up, mom. I know that the guy that you've been telling me is my dad, not my dad. He's so not my dad. This other guy that maybe been around or whatever in close enough proximity for him to get to him, uh, that's my dad. And hey, and like he said, you know, whatever you had going on during 20, 20 years ago in the Triassic period with your coochie, don't nobody care. I don't care. Because what happens is they tell that lie to save face in the moment. And then what happens is they got to keep up the lie once whatever it was that they were trying to avoid is not an issue anymore. They don't drop down and come clean with it because now it's been so long that now they're going to get the side eye for not only lying at the time, but upholding the lie throughout the years. So now it's just like they be trying to take these types of secrets to their grave. She's sitting up here acting like this boy betrayed her. And that's how a lot of these women feel. When they, when they, when they children find out the truth or when the truth is come to light about the foolishness that they've been up to and how they have disrupted other people's lives, set into motion all kinds of generational curses, set into motion all kinds of dysfunction throughout the family set these things into motion. And then now they don't want to be confronted about it. Now they want to be the victims. Like you're, oh, you're doing something to me. Don't nobody care how you feel about it at this point, ma'am. Nobody, nobody cares about it. Boo hoo cry and get over it because he's taking that very well. He's not being disrespectful. He's not yelling at her. He's not even highly upset. He's not even like emotional about it. Not at this moment. He is more so like, you know what? The lie was stupid. The lie was probably extra dumb. For all we know, he probably looked like that other man. Now, now she embarrassed because the lie is out. So you lie. You kept up a lie for 20 years. Pretty much 20, 19, 20 years. You kept up a whole lie. And not just one lie. All the lies that you would have needed to come up with to support that lie. So this is just a, a world of lies that you lived in. Caught in my own web of lies. You caught in your own web of lies. Caught looking stupid, sitting on the couch, looking like an idiot. Now she going to call herself mad at that boy like she got the right to be upset with him. For all intents and purposes, he got the right to be upset with her to the point where, you know what, I need my distance from you because the fact that you will uphold a lie to me for 20 years lets me know what kind of individual you are. And this is what, this is the other thing that they don't like because it exposes their character and it exposes how much of a trash human being they actually are. You trash. And then they'll get somewhere and get old talking about they did the best they could. Girl, nobody want to hear that. So them lies was the best you could do. Them lies was the best you could come up with. That was the best way to raise your kids. In a lie, girl, one that he going to have to deal with now. Now he has the responsibility to try to overcome whatever the whatever setback that lie caused. And they definitely sit there and act like she didn't do nothing wrong. Like it's, it's, it's irking me to even look at it even without the audio. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, the Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.